Hello and welcome to this new class in which we will talk about Fusion 360. You will learn how you can easily turn images into 3D printed art. And we will try to cover more than one method in this class. First, we'll talk about how to convert an image into a file that 360 can understand. And then I will teach you how you can draw the shape yourself. I'm sure that after this course, you will be able to turn any image that you have into a 3D printed art. See you in class. Hello and welcome to this new lesson in which we will use Fusion 360 to turn this image or any image into an object for 3D printing. And the first step is creating a sketch for your image. Once you have a sketch, you can use the extrude function to turn it into a 3D object. So the trick is getting your image into Fusion as a sketch. Your approach will depend on what kind of image you are starting with. Is your image a vector file? And a vector file is made up of points and lines to create paths they can be scaled up and down without losing quality and that's why they are very famous. That's like a sketch in Fusion. To make things simple, Fusion allows you to import SVG vector files and you can import them directly as sketches. To do this, you can go to insert in this. Here we are inside Autodesk Fusion 360 and simply click insert, insert SVG. Now I already have an SVG file that I downloaded, as you can see, .svg. So just double click the file. And the next step is simply selecting the plane that you want this uh, SVG file to be placed on. I will click here. And once you do that, you can see that you have your sketch inside Fusion 360. You can play with it. You can finish the sketch from here. And you can use the extrude function to extrude any area in this sketch. Let's say that we want to extrude these. And you can choose the extrude amount. Now this is just an example and as you can see we just turned an image into a 3D printable shape in a Fusion 360. Now this is the easy way to do it. If you have an image that is available in SVG file extension you can import it directly to uh, Autodesk Fusion 360 using the insert SVG uh, file feature. In the next lesson we will discuss what you need to do if you have an image that is not an SVG extension and you have to convert it yourself. Thanks for watching this lesson. See you next. Hello and welcome to this new lesson. Now let's say that you have this image and it's not available in SVG file format. In this case if the image is simple or let's say that doesn't have a lot of uh, let's say complex details then it will be a really easy thing to convert it to an a svg file type let's go to any web browser write png or gbg or image to svg now you will find a free converter as you can see svgconverter.com Click the first result, click add image files, and in here you need to go to the location where you have your image, and here it is. Now it will upload the image, and it will convert it. You can control the details in here, the line threshold, the color count, the corners, always threshold and the line revision plus the width weight factor. Now, if you are satisfied with the end result, which is this, you can simply 
download the file. Click and your download will start. As you can see, this is our file. Now we can go back to Fusion 360. Let's delete this. Go back to the insert. Click insert SVG. Insert from my computer. Then go to the download section and you will find your SVG file. Double click. Now again, you need to select the plane. Let's add it here. And here is your image. As you can see, it's almost identical to the original image. And you can zoom in to select what you want to extrude. Click Finish Sketch. Now, once this is done, it's taking time to finish this sketch because it has a lot of details. Now, you can manually remove all the uh, extra lines from here, but I will leave them. Now, click Extrude and select the area that you want to extrude. Now I will extrude, okay, not this area. I will extrude this area, this area, this. Okay, that's enough. Now, once you are done, let's change the view angle. Okay, let's rotate it to make sure that you can see. Now, Simply drag the extrude and hit enter. Now if we went back, you can see that we have our shape right here. Now you can fix these issues in the sketch window, but I know that you know how to use sketch, so if you need to fix them, you can do that on your own. This is the second method. Thanks for watching this lesson. See you next. Hello and welcome. Now, in this lesson, I will teach you how you can turn any image, even if it has a lot of details, into a sketch that you can use for 3D printing. Now, I showed you two methods already. The first one was to convert the SVG file to a sketch, then to 3D printing. And the second method was to take an image and convert it to .svg and then insert it to a sketch in Autodesk Fusion 360. Now, let's talk about the third method. In this method, I will teach you how to take an image, insert it inside Autodesk Fusion 360, and then convert it to a sketch and draw that image manually. This method is a complex method. It takes time, but it gives you a perfect result. Now, to apply this method, simply go in this area and create a new Autodesk Fusion 360 file, click Insert, and from the Insert, click Canvas to place an image on a planner face or sketch plane. Click Insert from My Computer, select the image file, and then choose the plane that you want to use for this. Now here we have it. The next step is simply choose the location for this image where you want to place it and hit enter. Now let's rotate to the top layer. After that zoom in and this is our image. Simply create a sketch and as you can see, we'll create the sketch on the same plane as our image. And we will zoom in again. And we'll start drawing using the fit point spline. Now, 
start drawing points and we will be able to change these points once we are done. As you can see, I'm drawing the outer shape. Click here, there. Now, depending on how fast you are, you can draw the shape. And that's it. Now, we have drawn the outer shape and now we can zoom in to control these lines you can use these green circles as you can see you can move the line itself you can move this line up here you can control this line move it a little bit up and you can uh, keep doing that until you are satisfied with the result now let's say that we have this line that we need now let's say that we still have this line and we need to edit that line and move it a little bit up now let's drag this here let's drag this here let's drag this here and maybe this line needs a little modification so you have to modify it and this again will take some time so if you have a simple shape it will be easier to convert it to a vector or if you know how to use adobe photoshop you can go and convert your shape using adobe photoshop now go to the spline tool again and let's draw the inner surface click here there in here and there again click here again click escape and start dragging the wires now as you can see i'm moving this wire to fit this area same thing here and same thing here now we have an almost identical shape we can move it a little bit around to make sure that we have an exact match as you can see here can rotate this as well okay that's enough i will leave all of this for you to do once you are done click finish sketch and simply go back to the home view click extrude select the shapes that you want to extrude and hit enter now if you went back to the top view you can see that we have our dog shape the outer shape and the inner shape now you can keep drawing the rest of these thanks for watching this lesson i hope that you enjoyed this let us see what you have done with the images that you have in your computer and before 3d printing and after 3d printing please post pictures in the project window this is ashraf see you in another class